In today's video, I'm going to show you how to play DS games straight from your home menu on your 3DS. Now for this guide, we are not using Twilight menu as that's the most common method to play DS games on your 3DS, but for this method it is extremely easy and we're going to install them as if they were a CIA file onto our home menu. However, they are not a CIA file so the steps are a little bit different. So let's get started and let's get some DS games on our menu. Now for this tutorial, we're going to be using Universal Updater. So if you already have it, you can skip this step, but if you don't have it, you can go onto your FBI software and scan the QR code, or you can just download this universaladdater.cia and throw it on your SD card. That's what I'll be doing. And once you have that, open up your SD card you use to mod your 3DS, go into your CIAS folder, and if you don't have one, just create it, and just drag Universal Updater. Whoops inside of your CIAS folder. And once it's in there, it should just look like that. It's very simple. So now we're gonna go set up our ROMs. So in order to place our ROMs, we need to make a folder. So right click on your SD card, click new, create new folder, call it ROMs, go inside of that folder and create another new folder and just call it NDS. And this is where we're gonna place our DS ROMs. So open your NDS folder you just created and as you can see, I have a backup of Lego Star Wars, The Complete Saga. I played a lot of hours of this game when I was a kid, you know, long car drives. This was the savior. <laughs> so I'm just going to throw that in here. Your, your DS games should be a NDS file. But once you have it in there, you can also add other games, but I'm just going to be doing Lego Star Wars for now. So back on the route. Just a quick recap, uh, CIS folder, you should have Universal Updater, and you should have your ROMs placed in the NDS folder like that. So we can eject our SD card and I will meet you on the 3DS. So once you're over on your 3DS, go into your FBI software, load it up, press A on SD, navigate to CIAS, press A, and you should see Universal Updater right here. Click A on it and you can choose install and delete CIA and that way it'll install it to your system and delete it off your SD card so it's not taking up any extra space. So click A, click A again, and it should install. Press A when it's finished and you can click the home button and we should see it on the home menu as new software. So open it up and you should see Universal Updater. Let's load into it and get on with the tutorial. And once you load in, go to this search icon here and type in NDS. Press OK and switch back to this information icon and scroll over on the top screen until you see NDS folder. When you're here, click A, click A again, click A to confirm. And now if you go into the download section, you should see it downloading onto your 3DS. And it is successful, so now you can click the home button, close the software, and head over into your homebrew channel, or homebrew launcher, sorry. <laughs> Load it up. And now we're gonna scroll down until we see NDS forwarder generator. So click A on it, and it should take you here. And now on the top screen, you can see that it is your folders on your SD card. So we're going to navigate to where we put our DS ROMs. So scroll down until you see ROMs. There it is. Press A. Go into the NDS folder that we created and you should see your DS ROMs right here. Scroll down to it and click A. And then it'll say, do you wish to install whatever game you want? Make sure it's on yes. Press A. And just like that. It's done. So press A on OK and let's go check out our home menu. New software has been added and you should be able to go find that you have now installed the game on your menu. So just like that, let's uh, run it and test it out. Now you don't even need the Twilight menu to play this game. All you need to do is get it onto your home menu and have it on your SD card. That's it. So let's try it out. The initial start of the game usually takes a bit longer and we'll run through some screens with code, um, but eventually it will load as you can see. 
Now, if you're interested in playing DS games from the Twilight menu, that will also allow you to have the widescreen patch, which we do not have right now. So subscribe and keep your eye out for that video in the future. But uh, let's play some LEGO Star Wars. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. It's a pretty straightforward tutorial, so I hope you were able to follow it without any issues. If you did run into any issues, comment below and I will try to help you out there. You can also join my Discord server down below uh, if you want to get some help there or just hang out. And again, if you want to learn how to use the Twilight menu, which will allow you to add the widescreen patch and use cheats, subscribe and keep an eye out for that video. It'll be out sometime shortly after this one. But anyways, thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye.